and Tom Pippen Sports, because your news team matters. More now on that breaking news from Racine County. A 16-year-old boy pulled from the water at Cory Lake Park in Racine. Our Henry Rossoff is there live at the scene. Henry, what can you tell us? And we were just updated by divers who pulled the 16 year old out a little while ago. If you look over there, you can faintly see in the distance the pier. That's where the 16 year old was diving with some friends, up to five friends, when he went under a little after 7 o'clock and did not come back up. They almost immediately called 911, and four minutes within divers arriving on the scene, they were able to pull the 16 year old out. But they rushed him to a local hospital in an ambulance. They sent a flight for life helicopter. Helicopter to that hospital. They are hopeful the 16 year old will survive, though they are unsure of his condition at this point. Uh, something the uh, authorities were talking about out here is that budget cuts have led to no lifeguards being posted at this park, and this being a, a very dangerous area and a lake that they've had uh, problems with in years past. And so, uh, kind of an interesting situation there uh, here with the uh, first year without lifeguards out here, according to authorities, and, and a potential very serious situation with a 16 year old's life hanging in the balance. But for now, live in Racine, Henry Rossoff, Fox 6 News. And there seems to be signage along there that indicates that. We saw in your story there a lot of signs that say no lifeguards on duty, swim at your own risk. That, that is accurate, and this 16-year-old was with several friends who did call 911 immediately, so not sure if it comes down to lack of a lifeguard may have cost a life here or if this could have happened no matter what because this wasn't someone swimming alone in, in a dangerous way, jumping off the cliff. He was on the pier. This is the area designated for swimming. So. Henry, Henry Rossoff in Racine County tonight. Thank you. We now know the name of the man who died during the High Cliff Triathlon in Sherwood this weekend. Doug Whitmer drowned in Lake Winnebago yesterday. Whitmer was taking part in the half Ironman triathlon, which includes a 1.2 mile swim. Health officials say deaths like his aren't always avoidable.